previously in the devil in me to save like a certain character's life and both the and the cheaper ones are just selling telling you something that may have helped help you i'm talking jamie Mark, jeez come on give me a hand moving this shit. <laughs> fine i was just giving it an idea <laughs> Fine, don't, don't listen to my ideas then. What do I know? And now we continue. <coughs> oh, 182. Is that... Is that the number of victims? That's a lot if it is. All right. I've had enough of this shit. What the hell is going on? Well, Dumet offered a unique H.H. Holmes experience and Charlie couldn't resist. Problem is for Dumet, it's real. Moving walls, traps, tricks. It's everything Holmes did. So why? Why is he doing it? Why did Holmes do what he did? Why do any of the killers we've covered do the shit they do? Upbringing. Trauma. They're so crazy. Sealed, but they aren't. You know what I mean. Let's just find Aaron. <laughs> this is so sad. Knowing that Aaron is dead. I felt like it was a little too easy to get Aaron killed. There. Like, I know this is a, like a choice based game where you. But, like. Aaron barely at all had any type of development. Oh, well, there he is. Just just punch him. There's three of us. Get him. Why are we just standing around? Can you see him? I reckon Mark could take him on. I really reckon that. Oh, well, let's just go towards where he went. That sounds like a good idea. All right, I'm calling it now. The wall's gonna shift and I'm gonna get trapped on the other side. But I feel like if I open this door, oh yeah. Oh, he went there all right. Guys, over here. Are we gonna see Aaron's dead body? Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I'll watch the door. You guys look around. Oh, someone's on an operating table, huh? What the fuck is this? Hmm. I feel like Erin, like, literally had no, like, character to it. She was there. I made her like kiss God. with Jamie. And then she's dead. <laughs> it had Charlie, poor, poor Aaron. We had Charlie just yell at her about losing cigarettes. Just establish a, a new possible relationship. And immediately just like that. <laughs> at least, at least with Caitlyn. You know, there was still like a little bit of stuff that we did with Kaylin before she died. But Aaron like did fuck all. Jesus. What is that? Is that a turkey? Ugh. Alright. Okay. I don't know, maybe there's still hope. Nah, she's dead. Like, I keep thinking that in the back of my head, maybe she is still alive. But. This is hers. Oh, yeah. Shit. We're gonna find her body. <gasps> oh, there she is. Oh, no. Here! 
found her! Alright, this is an obvious jump scare. Let's get this. No, not another jump scare. Oh, what the fuck? She's very dead. Special feature unlocked. What special feature? Oh. That's really sad. God damn it. They, oh, they really shat on Aaron, the developers. What the fuck did he do to her? I'm so, so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Ah, oh, smart, Ma. Where should we go? Back pick to the ferry. Up. It left, remember? It's on a line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Make a fake plan. <laughs> maybe we can signal Make him help. think you're gonna do this There's thing, but you don't. patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without proof. Signal help. The crew formulated a plan to meet at the lighthouse. I did not know that this was even a choice. I did not do this. You want me to record him <laughs> trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. What, what, what is Shit. she doing? Kate. Why is she? Hang she, on! We literally ah. just said don't. Ah. Yeah, okay, the wall's closed, but ah. now we're still. Oh my Mark. god. <laughs> Alright, Mark. Jamie! What did we just say? Wait, <laughs> what no, no, no! We, what did we literally just say? Stay together. Fuck. He's gonna try and pick us off. That's literally what we just had a conversation about. Oh, God. oh shit, is Mark gonna get hanged? Oh, no, he lives. the wrong one well there goes the camera well shit I guess we're not gonna have the evidence ending <laughs> okay so right off the bat so this is acid, right? This is blatantly acid. Which means to tell me there's probably going to be an acid-related death coming up. Let's try not to get that- let that happen. Because it will be a horrifying, horrifying, horrifying death. So, let's try and prevent that, Mark. God, I really hope we don't need that camera. <laughs> In terms of, like, getting them out alive. Evidence what like... 
If we make it out alive, I'm okay. The fact that we now lost the camera, let's be honest. Yeah, it's 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 over. We're we're gonna get arrested by the cops, right? No one's gonna believe us or something. <clears throat> Unless we find other ways of evidence, but like. Uh, okay. Hmm, someone was dragged. Okay. Alright, let's, let's think this smartly. I I have a feeling Charlie is still alive. I, I really think that I might have done the, be uh, the better choice. I don't think there's anything I else could have done, so Charlie may still be alive. So let's try and do that again, but for Mark. <laughs> we still have not seen a premonition. I'm... I feel like we m actually might have had a premonition back there, didn't, didn't we? But I skipped a, a, a little too early, progressed too early. I don't know. Maybe we might find a premonition here in this acid room that might save Mark. I really think Mark's on the chopping block right now. Okay, but so. Ooh. Oh, I can see through the window. Oh, I wish I had my camera. It's really annoying, you know, when those quick, quick time events just suddenly happen. Like, when you're not, when I'm prepared. Hi. <laughs> oh god. Oh, do we have to do a sneaky s shit? How long do I hide here? Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, I got really scared for a moment there. I actually thought I was I was going to have to go into a situation where I need to like sneak, like actually sneak and hide. That would have been horrid, but now we literally just tied there and we're good. Okay, what was I talking about before this? <laughs> are we on a limp? I don't think we are. Hmm. I completely forgot what we were talking about earlier. Right, so we can go through here now. Cause our serial killer has gone through. He's probably looking for Mark right now. <gasps> no shit. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we could take him on. Punch his kneecaps. Just punch his knee right there. He's still a human after all. He's not a superhuman. I mean, we're a grown ass man. How long does this go for? This was the old computer. Mark would be fucked right now. <laughs> okay. We're good to go. Seventy-two, ninety-three. Seventy-two, ninety-three. What does that mean? Seven-two-nine-three. Okay. 
Let's try and remember that. 7293. That's probably a code to something. I was talking about quick time events, wasn't I? Yeah. When it suddenly comes out of nowhere, I, you, you panic. Uh, and you just quickly just react. I didn't have enough time to, to process in my head. <laughs> oh! Then I have to press right or left click. I just clicked the mouse. I think I pressed both of them and panicked. <laughs> oh well. Six, eight, eight, three. What? This is a different one. 68, 83. Oh, I, really, I reckon if I had my camera right now, I could have taken photos of those numbers and would I actually have like an actual. Why do I have to like. I feel like I genuinely need to remember these numbers and it might cost my life if I don't. Hold on. I'm just gonna quickly <laughs> write these down. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so the wrist. Wrist hands. <laughs> I'm. Fuck that. I'm not using my memory. I'm gonna forget. <laughs> I want Mark to live. I like Mark. Alright, Caitlin Mannequin. What was you, what were you? All right. So you were seven two nine three. Okay. Are there any others? Oh there is another. The bartender. Oh boy. Bar zero zero. Two eight. Are these just like the the product numbers, or do I genuinely need to remember these? God, I really hope that I don't need to genuinely remember these numbers. We'll see how it goes. There's a head. Oh, that's horrid. That one didn't even have a number. <gasps> what am I even hiding from? Oh, get stuffed. Oh, fuck this. No. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> the good thing is that I'm in the dark, so. I still don't understand why I can't just go for him. He's still just a normal man after all, like, I don't think he knows I'm here. So yeah, if I just simply just ran out to him and like full blown punch him in the face. Like, I, no doubt, I reckon he'll probably have some kind of knife. He'll have like a scalpel or something, right? But he's still just a man. Are we safe? I'm gonna release Q now. If you dare tell me that I got caught, I'm gonna blame the game because it was not clear whether or not I was safe or not. Okay, a drill. Cool. Oh, am I making a drill weapon? There we go. Okay, last time we did this, Aaron died. Hmm. Okay. Press it! Press the button! Press it! Press the button! 
Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! Huh. Okay, hold on. Uncanny. Oh no. Don't you tell me. Hold on. Pictures. So, uncanny. So it seems that it's... So it, that's Mark. He has his face covered and Kate's like shocked. So it, it looks like Mark might be dead. So that tells me that... What I said earlier about the whole acid scene might actually happen. Or this is the game telling me that Mark might actually survive this encounter. And that he's not in any true danger, but he's in he is in danger of, you know, getting messed up. Uh press the button. <laughs> I'm really curious what would have happened if I pressed the button. But like I feel like I don't know, it could have been like one of those you know how in Until Dawn? There was the bear trap trap, you know, um, that Mike comes across. And if you investigate and get it curious, it like slams into your fingers and you got stuck there for a little while and you could lose your fingers. Yeah, could be that. I don't know, I'm just playing it safe. Hector Monday. Oh God, they got the FBI. Okay, hold on. If this guy managed to kill an FBI official, Definitely they're gonna get suspicious now. You mean to tell me that he, got, he managed to get away with killing an FBI agent and none of the workers are wondering, oh, I wonder where Hector went. Like, really? No one? Not a single person? Is... Or actually... No. Hold on a second. Hector is the killer. That's who it is, isn't it? We got a rogue FBI who got fascinated by the subjects he's been caught and decided to join in on the frill himself. That's what's going on, isn't it? Oh, Hector, you dirty cop. Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants, but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent mm. bereavement may be the underlying issue. Yeah, so I think we found the idea of our killer, or maybe they're, I don't know, they're kind of sprinkling a few ideas here and there and who it could be, because there was that other guy earlier who was getting interviewed as well. But I have a strong feeling that it could be the police officer that we're dealing with. Now this is going to take me to a death trap. <laughs> you kidding? There's no way that's not going to take me to a death trap. Alright. Let's get this over with. Come on, Mark. Let's get you out alive. 